I see some people sitting around praying. <laughs> some of you don't know how to interact with spirits. Talk more of the king's spirit. You don't choose how you come and meet God. You find out where he is in the spirit and join him. I want to show you something. I want to show you why you can remain in this building for long. But you are not doing what it takes. You need to know you are dealing with somebody that is immortal. He is not threatened by the fact that probably you have finished three months here or two years. Five years, ten years, he is not moved. There are requirements to be met. And the scripture made us to understand that God is no respecter of persons. When a man meets the standard in the spirit, he begins to touch the things of God. Don't assume you are touching anything. I repeat again, you don't come to God on your terms. You find out what he's doing and align with him. His wisdom. His wisdom to know what God is doing. His wisdom. What we are doing is not what we pioneered, what we engineered. God called us into his realm, brought us into his government, brought us into his purposes. And a man can only be accurate in executing his days if he finds the place that God is in his workings, in his life, and stay there. That is wisdom. Wisdom is not saying many things. Wisdom is knowing where God is and tarrying there until his purposes break out of your life. A whole generation will bear witness that you tarried with God. Is wisdom. Many of them will look at you and say, you are wise. How? When people ask you, how were you able to do this? That means there is something you knew and executed that they have not been able to enter into. Is wisdom. Not the wisdom that men proclaim, but the wisdom that is eternal. The wisdom that is of God. The wisdom. That wisdom will make you come here and groan every day. Sometimes without prayer points. Is wisdom. Wisdom is not it's not just that you prayed or probably have prayer point or fasted is that sometimes you don't even know why you are doing it yet you feel a burden when you come you don't need prayer point you don't even need sound you don't need anybody to exhort you but the activity going on inside of you is enough for you to follow the spirit i want to ask you as you are now is this what the holy spirit is doing inside of you that's why many of us we we can't grow fast beyond the things that is said in the pulpit it is to bring you to the point where you begin to live according to the leadings of the holy spirit inside of you that is where you become strong as many as are led by the spirit of god they are what they are the sons is this the leading of the spirit now you just assume don't come and waste your time oh god is not threatened anyway there are things you can receive this way you are there are things you can receive but the heavier matters of the kingdom you can't touch it Please give me a little more volume. I want to groan and it will disturb it will disturb my heart if and I need to hear myself. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Let's see verse 17. Si ambo kapa hata matai kupene yante lepato sinaman de kapiatala Jesus. Man to kabrata bahata that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Everything a man needs, especially a believer, is captured in the knowledge of God. The scripture was speaking in the book of John chapter 17 verse 3. It said, this is life eternal, that we might know God and Jesus Christ whom He sent every single thing you need for life and godliness is in knowing God actually you don't know yourself until you know God of what importance and priority is it to know God meanwhile there is a challenge let me see my scripture I need us to pray he said this is Paul oh. you see there are many prayer points we brought out of the scripture that some of them don't have result and the reason why there is no result is because we cannot trace it to the scripture so the authority is not verified and some of them you prayed it for long and there is no result but this one is one of the prescribed prayers in the scripture 
He said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you, is a prayer, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God. This is what it means. Listen. It means that for you, there is an allocation of wisdom, an allocation of revelation it takes for you to enter into the knowledge of God. Remember that all you need for life, purpose, destiny is the knowledge of God. In fact, your identity will remain veiled until you enter into the knowledge of God. It is there that you find yourself. But it says that there is an allocation of wisdom and revelation. Have you ever found yourself fasting when you should be praying? Have you ever found yourself doing... I've seen people that fasted for one year, but they didn't find much result. Do you know why? They didn't know how to... They are sincere, but they didn't know how to fast. They didn't know how to pray. They didn't know the measure to which they will do which. So they stopped many places. The reason is that there is an allocation of wisdom. It takes to enter into anything that is preached here. To enter the things that you have already learned. To enter into the quota. My God, I feel the fire of the Spirit now. We are going to pray. All you need to be is just to be in this hall. Even if you don't want to pray, you will pray. There is a spirit of prayer in this house. You see, when you want to walk your path as a believer, I don't care how many things you do. There is one thing you are not exempted from is prayer. Even if you didn't succeed in doing anything, in fact, you are not permitted to do anything until you have prayed and prayed for long. That is, it is to align you and knock you into shape so that you will be in the place where this thing is happening. If not, God will waste his resources on you and it's not the fault of anybody. I have a burden. I just know in my heart that I should have gone further in God than I am now. If I have enough wisdom, I should have gone further. I don't know about you. Maybe, maybe you just think that that this thing is by luck. Maybe if you wake up tomorrow, something will happen. Nothing will happen. You have to, it's a deliberate step. Eh? Line upon line, precept upon precept. A little here, a little there. And then after some time, what God will make out of you will be a wonder. But you have to take cognizance of this fact that there is an endowment of wisdom you need. You need. When you, when you pray this kind of prayer, you will not enter the realm of instructions. When people do the same thing you are doing, they are not getting the same result. Some of them will look at you and, and then they copy you. They copy you. And probably they are they, the way I'm looking at you, you see as if it's the prayer you are praying in the night. That's what they don't know that you pressed into wisdom. You pressed into wisdom. It's wisdom that makes knowledge something useful to you. You are the wisdom before I began. Now, listen. I want people that want to pray with me. I know there are not many. Huh? Just find a neighbor. Find a neighbor. Find a neighbor. We are about to grow. The way many people are dressed officially is a good thing, but is a good is a is work. There is what we call work clothes. Work for work. For work. When you grow, you find out who you are in the spirit. When you grow, God endows you with wisdom. You can even be a music minister and God will tell you to wake up by two. Two to four in the night. Don't pray. Just release sounds in the spirit. There are sounds of war. And when you release them, things are opened up for you. There is no way you will know until wisdom speaks to you. Can we pray? Just pray in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Your target. Your target is that wisdom should open up to you. Wisdom should open up to you. Sia parante pre kopatala ha. Zambre topa kapante lembre tapala. Kapuata kapena tiambe telia kapata. Mambra kapapa o kapapa o. Sabre tapapa na tete tete kete. Sa. Fawi di mi spirit you take over. Holy fire, burn up on my heart. Ha. Holy fire, burn up on my heart. Fawi di mi spirit you take over. Somebody.
somebody cry. Go Holy fire, pour up on my altar. For within me, spirit to take over. Holy fire, come. We some pray with me. Jesus, Jesus, God. holy fire, burn up on my altar. For we need me, spirit, you take over. Holy fire, burn up on my altar. Holy fire, burn up on my altar. For we need me. Spirit you take over Holy fire Holy fire Holy fire Holy fire Burn up on my altar Holy fire Somebody pray Jesus mighty name. you can lose the hand of your burn up on my altar from within me spirit you take over holy fire burn up on my altar holy fire burn up on my altar Come within me, spirit you take over. Holy fire, burn up on my heart. Listen. 
some of us when we pray we are filled up with more grace to pray like the river of prayer inside of me is rising is it many small we enter into the intoxication realm there is such a thing as the spirit of prayer I have struggled with prayer before 10 minutes is warfare and I prayed by the energy of the spirit and I know the difference and since that day I vowed never to pray until the spirit helps me when the Holy Spirit begins to help you you know there are many people that pray even pray in tongues the Holy Ghost is not yet helping them he will grip you on the inside and then after some time it will seem as if you are possessed from that moment anything you do is the echoes of the spirit the groanings the sounds that you make it will chatter things in the spirit Now watch. There is a culture that the apostles learn from Jesus. It is to give themselves to prayer. There is a difference between praying, giving yourself to prayer, and making prayer. When men like that appear, they they come as production engineers. And their job is to manufacture prayer because they understand that the purposes of God and his execution is riding upon how much incense they have been able to raise. There are many things God has said he wants to do through your life in the territory that will never happen until the measure of incense rises. Until you come to the energy level in the spirit where the things you, you saw will become a component part of your spiritual ambience. You need to grow, grow, grow grown i don't want to end like this so i don't know about you no the way i'm looking at you you want to end like this uh, let me tell you a secret just groan and pray and enter that place don't mind your neighbor stop looking at neighbors don't think somebody is your mate he's not your mate you don't know what the person has done you don't know what he has done so probably if he's not praying he is probably he has covered his life stop looking at don't come to this tent and think everybody's you don't know where many people are coming from just because they are hiding somewhere you don't know you don't know how much progress they have made you can appear and be saying we are the same in, 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 make, make i decompose myself they, uh, it's a proof you are not really wise according to the scripture settle your life for yourself the faster the better the faster the better the things you have learned will stay on your head. It will never become a part of your life until you give yourself to priesthood, to prayer. When you pray, the day you will begin to walk in them, you will not even remember. You just realize that you woke up one day and started walking in the realities of the things that we have spoken about. It is because you gave yourself to prayer. The Holy Ghost will take advantage of your vessel and grow and then he will put hands on the things that pertains to you then he begins to work on them process them I'm going to pray until I see the day of God in my life this is not the one that my generation is expecting this is not the one I know you are doing well you are good Prime. some of you are doing well you are trying it's not you are trying Chinwe is not your try, you know. Uh, it, it is prayer. It is prayer. If you pray and faint, you wake up from where you fainted and continue. There is no other way. It is a sentence. It is a sentence. It is a sentence. Your, our generation will be grateful that we prayed. And it is not just normal prayer. It is groanings of the spirit. You groan. Listen. The Bible said in the book of Psalm chapter 63 verse 1. He said, Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. Early will I seek thee. 
my soul thirsted after thee my flesh longed after thee in a dry and thirsty land that means if a man actually pursued God then the three dimensions of him will be in alignment anybody that is telling you he is pursuing God and his body is not part of it is a joker you are not serious I mean you can't find it in the Bible the patterns that Jesus set and the patterns that the apostles set eh? Paul was the one that rose and said I bear in my body the marks where is your mark what have you gone for Jesus if a man have actually led the life of prayer the footprint will be in his life he must show it must show even physically it must show it must show all these pampering people are pampering their body pampering themselves is not getting us anywhere all these small small things we are doing you i'm not saying it's more working you are praying every day you are praying every day you are praying wake up one day and get angry do it for 100 days and see what will happen huh there is prayer there is prayer there are depths in prayer there are depths in prayer and it's still the same prayer you can actually walk up and pray for seven hours in tongues but you didn't do anything the person that grown for 30 minutes did more spiritual work than you prayer is not is not just prayer is spiritual work that means his value can only be determined from the spirit so we cannot just use the time you spent to determine the amount of work that has been done in the spirit we have to check the value from the spirit huh? the value of prayer spread is the amount of soul travail poured inside of it the scripture said i think in the book of isaiah he said when he saw the travail of his soul he was satisfied that means there is a measure of satisfaction that is demanded from your prayer it is when that satisfaction is met that the answer will come so what god is measuring is not the time is not is the travail of the soul and even jesus literally lived the day at the garden of gasamene the scripture was telling us in hebrews he said that he he that he cried he prayed and cried he was afraid for his life that was what was in the book of um in the in the gospels the the problem is that the hour have come and jesus must execute his destiny all those miracles he has been doing they are good but his purpose his target on earth is to die and when it's time to die he found that he didn't have what it takes to bet the season many men pregnant they they don't have the energy to bet they don't have the energy to bet you can be seeing where you are going you are not first year pass it don't, some of you it, it has five years now ten years you are even looking at people that started with you they are moving forward is energy to travel and bet things in the spirit huh there is there is nothing that came here that originated here it came from there how much can you bet bring it over here so you can start now and start praying and pray in tongues for seven hours you will be praying shagam brada shagam brada da shagarabala da 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 la shagabrana banana da la da bala reduce a little let me talk to some people some people that is wasting their time You are just wasting your time. Shaga brada baba. Shaga. Ian Bound said, I'm here to see a man that understands prayer and has penned it down in letters like that man. He said that the prayer that has not moved your heart can't move the heart of God. You are praying is not moving your heart and you expect it to move the heart of God. Is when his heart is moved, his hand will be moved. And when the hand of God is moved, things will be shifted both in your life in the territory in the family everywhere is not moving you ah, no 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 the prayer have to move your heart it's organic you know when things are being shifted things are being reorganized when you travel god is not just touching things he's also touching you it's an avenue for god to touch everything in your life a moment i will pray i will pray i will pray i will pray and i will groan so that i will enter the place that god wants me to enter at the season at the pace
Jesus told Peter, James, and John, watch with me for one hour. He said, watch and pray so that you will not enter into temptation. Watch and pray. We are going to pray again. We are going to pray. I have a body now. My body is that I just noticed that our generation, we are overrating ourselves. We are overrating ourselves. I just read some of the things that the fathers did and I found out we are overrating ourselves. You will pray again and the way you pray is a proof of your humility. The way, the way you pray is a proof of of your understanding of your insufficiency if you see men that package themselves that means they have things that they hope on see there are people that are millionaires here they don't need anything their life has been sorted that they just want to come and hang around the tent and greet people and snap pictures with them they have sorted out their life some of us nations are waiting they are crying like they told Paul come over to, come over to Macedonia and give us help come over that, that they are saying come over doesn't mean we have what it takes yet so we grow El Shaddai make us large in the spirit increase our borders load us with bodies when we appear may we carry the solution of a generation I don't just want to be walking idle like this all the time you are moving hoping things are changing is still the same are you not tired You are not tired. You are not tired. I come around the later. Luke chapter 18. Verse 1. Luke chapter 18. Until prayer has cost you something, it will, you will not get anything meaningful from it. Let me tell you. What God is looking for is people that can pray. Not people, not people that stay where they pray. Not people that are friends with prayer people. Not people that talk about prayer. No. Not people that have read about prayer. No. Not people that teach prayer. No. People that actually pray. They are the people that God needs. There are few ministries that transcend time. I'm trusting God when we pray again that the spirit of prayer and groaning will fall on at least 20 people. If you will pray. When you pray like that, you make progress. It's not just that you are praying. You will see yourself be moving at a pace that is strange. And the measurement of your pace is not in, in the natural. It's in the spirit. You see yourself making progress. Verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them, saying unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray. He's saying that men are supposed to pray always and not to faint. Verse 2 Saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Avenge me. And he would not for a while. See, let me tell you here. Yeah. The Bible said there is, there is a cardinal commandment. There is a cardinal principle. There is a cardinal law in the pursuit of God in prayer. And it is captured in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11. He said that they that seek God must believe that God is. But that is not my point. My point is that and that he is what? A rewarder. It should be settled in your heart. That's what I'm trying to bring out from this scripture. 
if you are not convinced and convinced and convinced that when you pray the result come that's why you are praying like this when you see men that know the power of prayer there is a way they pray because of the things they have already touched in the spirit you can't convince those men against prayer they have become large in the spirit they have names when they appear their name become a lega a lega tender in the spirit because of them all of their family can stay under peace because of a fact the fact that a man has stood tall in prayer in the spirit your family your children can be drawing on the things that you have you have you have invested they will draw from the deposits you have made in your bank generations to come will draw from it prayer he said god is a rewarder i don't pray hoping that god will answer my prayer no I know he's a rewarder that's why i groan i know that every ounce of prayer that pours out for my soul that heaven records it there is nothing like a prayer is wasted if it is by the spirit it can be wasted no ounce of prayer is wasted for god is a rewarder i know my god will reward my trust of prayer i know my god he he can't just stay and stay idle when i'm here groaning he knows my voice in the spirit and when i groan he said my son what is it and all the angels they stand up to answer to the voice of your cry in the spirit that's why we groan and then when you continue praying you rise in rank in your intercession and like like men like abraham even when chapters have been closed on matters they will come and arrive and tell him this is what we want to do in sodom and gomorrah what is your opinion abraham will open up a chapter that has been closed see what kind of man do you want to be a matter that has been closed abraham by the reason of stature that he has in intercession opened up the window that means for a man of intercession there is no case that is closed yet or as far as listen as far as the matter is still ongoing he can still bring intervention to it my god is a rewarder that's why i pray of them that diligently not not like this them that diligently seek him one day when i was doing you service i prayed i prayed to the point that the place i did you service there, there is a jam there is a german floor like the one outside here i prayed and it was called hamatan morning because i noticed some people this ac is very good on you so you are not you are no more praying well you just folded your arms called hamatan morning and i normally come out with I came out with something very big to cover myself from the cold. For one hour, nothing happened though. It seems as if it's iron to iron. But there is something I know. There is something men of prayer know. They know there is a point in the spirit where there is a position. Huh? Where themselves has been put aside. And the spirit takes over. And then it begins to drive the machine. I'm just the machinery. I'm not the driver. Uh, when the spirit of prayer takes charge the scripture said that the spirit is the one making intercession through us who is praying through you if the spirit actually prays through you God, tongues of fire tongues of fire energy is divine grace that is boundless the only reason why you stopped is because you want to stop men that know this thing the only reason why they stop they just decided to stop i prayed that morning till my my sweat i removed the clothes my sweat soaked the ground like as if they poured water it was there that i was praying and i later went and asked medical people what happened to me there are muscles here and here it is called i asked them they said the name is serratus arterio if it breaks you can't laugh I don't know how many of you are you can't laugh you can't smile you can't shout you can't even talk it's here you just be doing like this you'll be talking to people like this i told the team that you are wasting time we die in prayer my cry is don't leave me like this oh god 
I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I told the scripture said that once we appear in glory, we approximate from one layer to another. Watch. Let me show you. He said, and he would not for a while, but afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man. You, the scripture used the worst case scenario possible to show us the power of prayer. Listen to me. Anything God can do, prayer can get it done. Over. This man doesn't fear God. What else? What? How can he get worse than that a man doesn't fear God? He doesn't fear man. Now watch the next verse. Verse 5. Yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming. It's after me, continual coming. She weary me. Next verse. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. Verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect? Shall not God avenge his own elect? Which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them. Let me see verse 8. I tell you, the person that asked the question also answered the question. He said, I tell you that he will avenge them, not normal. He says, speedily. Nevertheless, that's where I'm going. When the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? That word faith, if you click, I don't know if you are using electronic, but if you click on it, you will see patience. It's not really this. It's not really the faith you think, like name it and claim it, you know, touch and receive. No, this faith is patience. Another way to reckon with this space, faith is endurance. Carrying power, carrying grace, staying power, staying grace until something breaks. Until something breaks, the person that ran 90% of the way doesn't have a reward. If you run 99, there is no reward. The reward is for 100%. Huh? So, the whether God listen, listen, why, why am I read this? Whether God will come or not is not a question, He will come. The question is when He comes. Will you still be tarrying? Will you still be tarrying? There is a quota that everything we seek in God. Eh? There is a quota that needs to be met. There is a quota in prayer. But God will come. He will come and he will come speedily. When your life breaks out, you cannot even measure. You cannot meet up with the pace of God in your life in the days of manifestation. I tell you the truth. I speak in a little way from experience. You'll be struggling to meet up with the pace of God's manifestation in your life. If you can only tarry until something breaks forth. Tarry. Tarry. When I saw the power of prayer, I decided that nobody can convince me against prayer. Nobody. Nobody can convince me. I decided that, see, I decided that even if I'm anointed tomorrow, I will not stop praying. If I see 100 dead people raised, I will not stop praying. No matter the money I see, I will not stop praying. For some of us, prayer is not the means to an end. It is both the means and the end itself. On my deathbed, I will still be praying. When I pray, I will smile and go to heaven. Because I found out that everything God wants to do is riding on prayer. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. When we pray, God will begin to walk. You will see what will happen here in the next five minutes. Something will take over you. Something will take over you. It will seem as if they cast a mantle upon you. <laughs> ah. I read the scripture and I found out that there is such a thing as prayer angels. Prayer angels. The scripture said Jesus prayed. And as he was getting tired, some angels came and, and strengthened him. Prayer angels. Some of them, when they appear, they give you drink. The drink that came from heaven. I 
and when you drink it, your 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 movement will charge in the spirit because of the things you drank. Then you begin to pray the prayer of God. is riding on our prayers let me tell you the scripture said that there is a woman Anna that stayed in the temple for 80 something years her job her, her husband died she stayed there and her job is to pray she never realized yet the purpose of her prayer then there is a man called Simeon the day that they came to dedicate Jesus Simeon took Jesus and began to release utterances. Meanwhile, both Joseph and Mary that gave birth to the child doesn't know anything prophetic about the child. I want to ask, who are the real father and mother of Jesus? All the, all the things that are born in the natural, we end in the natural. The things born of the spirit is eternal. This man stayed in the temple until he gave birth to the reality of the spiritual Jesus. Then Mary came and gave birth to something in the natural. 80 years he took God, keeping a woman in the temple to incubate, to travel. Ah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. I don't have time again. I will beg you to. I will beg you. Just even if you don't like it, just manage me. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure I will disturb you much. Just hold hands. Three, three. There is a reason why you hold hands. I want you to share grace. Sharing grace is not something you do after fellowship sharing grace just hold it in a circle hold it in a circle create flashpoints and portals please let's do something let's do so i don't want to waste my time i don't i don't want you to they say i pray we pray today no I want you to cry for the next five minutes. Tell Jesus, I will tarry until something happens, until something shifts. He said that when he that will come will come, but when he comes, shall he find men tarrying? Shall he find men groaning? Shall he find men praying? Shall he find men doing what they did yesterday? They do it today, they do it tomorrow. Sakwata mama hatal, ambre kopatal yakapada. Sa Halle 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 Hallelujah Halle 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 Hallelujah this is your moment. This is your hour. My sister, join now. Sa kakwa kapo 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 sha. Be determined. Do that something. Be determined. Kai kai kai. Power, 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 power
power, 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 You need something more. You need something more. Something must happen. Something must break. Something must shift. Something must crack. Something must crack. Something must shift. Something must break. Something must crack. We love God. Somebody pray. Do something.
something in five minutes. Make sure you partake. You are not living here the same. You are not living here the same. You are not living here the same. Yes, yes. Yes. Kai. 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 Sa. I see angels moving everywhere. My God. So You can do better. Kapo, kapo, sada, kapo, kapo. Angels move up. Hey, 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 hey. Sa, ko, 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 ko. Somebody pray, pray. This is your moment. This is your hour. This is your moment. This is your hour. Kwa kwa kate kwa. Oh, 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 oh,
and supplication. The spirit of prayer and supplication. Groanings of the spirit. Groanings, groanings. Groanings, groanings. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. It's coming upon you now. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I just want pay attention. I want to leave now. I want to hand over to Pastor. Whether you are listening to me online or physically. I just want two or three people that we receive a high measure of grace in prayer. A high measure of grace in prayer. A high measure of grace in prayer. Some of you, when the Spirit comes upon you, you will groan. You cannot control yourself. When it comes, you groan. You will not control yourself. When it comes, you groan. You will not control yourself. Some of you, you can literally stay for 12 hours without stopping the groaning. Just close your eyes. Lift up your hands. I just want a few people in this atmosphere. In this atmosphere. I will just pray for you quietly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of prayer and supplication come upon these people. Groanings of the spirit. My God, such as I have, I give to you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Countries! in the name of Jesus.